morning y'all welcome to another vlog i'm ice rolling my face currently with my skinny confidential ice roller and my episode um on the skinny confidential went live this morning so it's currently nine i'm having a little bit of a slow morning um actually i'm about to start working but i have pilates at 11 30 it stormed so bad last night and the dogs for whatever reason like sometimes sometimes just freak out in the storms and were on top of me the whole night um, and then I woke up at 5.30 and I stayed up for two hours and just read because I couldn't go back to bed. Finished another book last night, Good No Summer Heat Ball by Elin Hildebrand. It was okay. There were parts of it just like made me feel weird. And I hated most of the characters, but I did enjoy the book. So I don't know. It's not like a must read. But it was interesting, so... I'm gonna do a little bit of my manifesting journal that I've been doing. I have an episode on the podcast coming up about like manifesting like wealth in your life and stuff with someone who has like obviously knows a lot more than I do. Um, and she said to do this thing where you write down what you want 33 times, three days in a row um, to see what happens. And honestly, you might as well. So I'm gonna do that. I'm on day two. Again, it's my second time doing it. Since it was Memorial Day on Monday, Having Monday off this week like really threw me off and also traveling all last week like the fact that it's already Thursday I'm confused. So anyways, I'm gonna get some stuff done and then I'm going to Pilates in like two hours. So good morning everyone All right y'all so in the past hour, um, I think we just found out that we're gonna end up launching the Ryan set next week. We were gonna have to wait until the end of June. It's been a whole thing. I've talked about this in vlogs, so I think it's launching next week now, which is great, but I have so much to do in the meantime. I'm about to head off to Pilates. I thought about canceling my workout, but like honestly, I need to work out. It makes me a better human being. Also, when I'm doing to Fitz's face right now, he's obsessed with this. Like, look at this. I feel so bad for him with this summer shave. But he just sits there and he comes up to me and he just wants me to do this. He lays on me. This is like his new almost sweet spot. He's never cared about that before. I used to do that and you didn't like it. Look at you now. I love his little handkerchief, his little boy handkerchief. Oh yes, you're such a boy. He gives such cute little energy to the home. Anyways, I'm gonna head out and go to Pilates. Um, but for those of you who are interested in the Ryan set from the Opine, it's my favorite set. I literally live in it. The pants are so cute. Every, the whole set is so cute. Together, over a swimsuit, the pants, just the pants in the summer. It's 100% cotton, really breathable. You can wear it in the heat. I wear it in Texas heat. That's how like lightweight it is. Um, so anyways, we're gonna head out. Off we go. I'm back from Pilates. It was such a good class. I showered. I'm just wearing really cozy clothes. Currently, I'm working all afternoon. I've got a lot of work done. I just heated up some of my vegetable soup that I made yesterday in the last vlog. It's so good. It probably isn't warm enough yet, but let's see. Nope, not warm. All right, well, anyway, this afternoon, it's gonna be a lot of work, and I'm recording a podcast episode, I think, all about books for everyone who requested it. So, and tonight I'm going to dinner with McGuire, so I'll probably see y'all then. A shipment from Revolve just came in, one of them being this dress. Like, how cute I ordered these for my own money, but I'll link them below. Um, I wish I would have gone down one size. I think if I wash this though, it'll shrink. And then I also got these, like, obviously, the Valentino lookalikes. They're from Steve Madden. I got a size eight. I wish I was in like a seven and a half, but they're still fine because of the strap. They are the most comfortable shoes. Like obviously they're really quite a statement, but pink is my favorite color and I love heels, especially for summer. So I love these. I just thought they were so cute. I also got this dress, which was so pretty on the website. Obviously it's really wrinkled here. And I actually have like a cocktail party thing tomorrow night that I'm going to stop by. So I feel like I might wear that. It's like a sneakers and soiree kind of vibe. So I have to wear it with sneakers. So I might actually go with this dress. We'll see. And then I also got these. I just want like fun heels for the summer. These blue like strappy heels from Jeffrey Campbell. Again, like really comfortable. The heel isn't too intense, but I just need good comfortable heels for summer. Not that I don't have enough, um, but I wanted like more colorful shoes. A lot of these are like neutrals and stuff. Obviously there's some color in the back, but I just, I always like grab for colorful shoes. So I'm just gonna put these here for now. Swap them out with something, but I just thought these would be perfect for summer. All right, it is later. I just self-tanned. I'm wearing my Soma pajamas. I love 
Seriously? That's rude. I just want to say that up until last week, all six of those drawers were all pajamas. And now, only three of them are. I'm just a pajama-loving girl, like, every single night. I put on um, this saint -Tropez, Ashley Graham self-tanner. I leave it on overnight, and then I wash it off in the morning. Um, we'll see. It normally looks actually really good, so it's my favorite one. Anyways, I'm going to go downstairs and really cultivate a vibe Maybe play some Taylor Swift, light some candles, and then I'm going to record uh, an entire podcast episode on reading, how I read 100 books in a year, getting into that. So I need to like get in the mood, you know? I guess you guys actually probably don't know because I'm assuming like most people don't have podcasts, but I just don't want to be like in a boring mood. I need to be in a better mood so the episode is entertaining. All right, guys, I'm getting cozy. Taylor Swift is playing. I'm making myself some tea. This is the Sakara youth and beauty tea this tea promotes youthful radiance which i love so anyways also using a dolly mug of course i have my tea i have my mic i've gotten comfy um and i'm going to i was gonna say i'm gonna read i'm gonna record this episode i'm actually really excited i don't have like too much of an outline or anything because like, I'm going to be doing mainly Q&A sessions, slash this is just stuff I talk about all the time, and, you know, I feel like it's fine. See, like, this part of the background looks so cute, and the kitchen just looks cluttered. Granted, I have, like, dishes out that are drying. My dishwasher broke, but, and, like, it's the light there. It's always the light. Oh, Alexa, if I added, like, two episodes a month that were solos and more, like, personal catch-up, like, living life single in my 20s, and, like, what we're up to, like, friend-wise, things like that, like, would y'all be interested? Because I'm jealous of people who's, whose podcast is really kind of like almost a like YouTube channel. Um, but I would not want to give up like interviews because that's like really what I love. So I don't know. Just like things I've been thinking of lately. Love that. Anyways, let me know guys. But we're going to get to recording. Well, I just recorded. And after spending like all day to where I need to like stay up and work more. Working on the like assets and stuff for the Ryan launch. It's pushed back again to where it was. So anyways, um, you can't, you can only control what you can control. I just personally need to be able to control more, you know? So anyways, recorded the episode. I'm sending all that in. I'm feeling good about it. I'll probably talk to you guys in the morning. So I'm just going to be like working and reading for the rest of the night. But um, it's only 7.30. So I've got a long night ahead of me. Good morning. I am off to do 12 3 30. My biker shorts are from Amazon. My sports bra, I think, is Girlfriend Collective. I actually don't remember at all. And then I just have my um, running shoes from Brooks Running. This is the look this morning. Um, it's Friday, so I'm getting my lips done today. I have brunch plans. I have to meet with someone for work and then I need to finalize the live show, send a few things in and get going. So I'm very excited. Oh my God, I'm tired. I wish I had like three more hours this morning, but I don't, so. I just got ready. I'm wearing this dress from Princess Polly. I just have on like Prada slides. And then I'm using my favorite pink purse. This is Balenciaga, but like it's the cutest thing ever. Um, very casual little brunch fit. I'm going to meet up with McGuire. And then after that, I'm getting my lips done. Um, I go like every few months and I'll take you guys along. I also have like more details on my Instagram and like TikTok and stuff, but I go to Chelsea, um, which is, I'll show you guys, with you guys, it's on Oakland. So this is the look. It feels actually pretty good out this week because it rained. It was so cool and so nice out. This is also the first time I think I've worn makeup all week. Um, I really need to start getting ready on weekdays because it makes me feel more, you know, put together. Um, but I haven't been doing that. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna work on that. Actually, in all seriousness, like, if you do a heated workout, I've asked it so many times in vlogs, but, like, do you ever, like, style your hair? Because I feel like I always just throw it back because I'm trying not to wash it every single day, but, like, I end up washing it all the time. And then also because I have, like, literally one weft of extensions in just for, like, fullness because I lost a lot of hair with COVID. And that makes it 3,000 times harder to do my hair. It takes so much longer. My blowouts are more expensive. Like, everything is just a pain. 
so if you are if you relate to this tell me your hacks like what do you guys do it's just so confusing not confusing it's just like annoying also i love the way like dean street perfume it's perfect for summer it's just like a lighter scent i really like it Alright, just left Sadell's. I'm going to get my lip injections. So we're off. I'm taking y'all along. Um, I'll try to like blur out like needles and stuff, but um yeah, this is where I go. You guys can use code kidsy 20 and you get 20% off your first trip. They have, like hydrofacials, Botox, everything here, but anyways, we're off. All right, guys, I just want to let you know that they're going to look crazy for the time being. Yes, I know I decided to do this on a Friday before an event. Um, really interesting choice of days. I just didn't really have a choice. Um, here they are. They're going to swell, get worse, and then go back down. Like, they're not going to be this crazy. It's not painful to me at all. Normally, like, I'm fine. But today, I think because of, like, where my cycle is at, I was a lot more sensitive. Um, and so I bled more, which I normally don't. It's just, like, obviously it's swelling and it's going to bruise, which normally I get away with not having any swelling or bruising. In that baseball scene. So anyways, we are off. Well, oh, my God. Can I stop saying we are off at every, the end of every clip? Goodbye. All right, y'all. I just ordered some Starbucks for me and T. Terrence. Oh, my gosh. Coming over in a second. We're going to an event tonight and we're meeting some friends for dinner. I got my favorite coffee order, which is a grande iced coffee, two pumps sugar-free vanilla, no classic, with preferably almond milk, or I mean oat milk, but this bracelet is my newest obsession from Alexa Kelly and they have like really well-priced bracelets or just jewelry in general, but like so beautiful. I mean like look at this, just a beautiful like what tennis bracelet. I'm gonna wear it every day. I've been icing my lips like this. Um, don't worry, I'm not rolling them but I'm just like letting this stay because the ice pack that they gave me just like doesn't hold anything. I have my coffee. <laughs> this is how you know you're like a grandmother getting ready for a night out. Also, crazy, I just like have not been feeling going out at all. Normally, I look forward to the bars every weekend and like I don't know what's gotten into me, but just like not feeling it. Anyways, I'm booking my flight back right now from New York because I'm actually gonna stay an extra day with my dad and my brother and then I need to book my flights for the 4th of July. I sent in like final run of show stuff for the New York live show. Tickets below. Um, and like my green room name. I sent in my order for food in the green room. I sent in um, who's allowed in the green room. Like I'm just so excited. It's coming up so soon, 17 days away. It's my first live show ever. I want to do so many more. Like I eventually want that to be like a huge thing. Obviously I want to do one in Dallas, but I'm really glad that I'm not doing one in Dallas first because it like would intimidate me a lot more because yes, there's going to be a ton of my friends in New York and everyone's flying out. A lot of people are flying out and a lot of my like greatest friends do live in New York, but I'm just kind of grateful because obviously like I know a lot more in Dallas and the show here would be bigger for sure. So I'm liking that I'm going to do one before we do one in Dallas and hopefully this one goes well and then Jer Media will let me do one in Dallas. I also want to do one in um, Nashville. Let me know when you guys want one, but anyways, hope you guys are um, liking this vlog so far. Update, it's bruised right here, which she showed me where it will probably bruise. It's nowhere near as bad as I thought it was going to be. And I'm going to tell everyone the reason I got lip injections on a Friday before going out and going to an event. There's like literally a soiree that I'm going to before. I don't know if I said that or not. There's like a sneaker soiree um, tonight. Um, I'm going to tell them it's because I'm confident and I don't care what people think. Not because I just wasn't thinking about it. You know? All right, guys. I wish I would have shown you this dress before. So this is one of the dress. Oh, Terrence here. This is one of the dresses that I got from Revolve earlier this week. And I was like, I have nowhere to wear this to, but I just wanted because I thought it was so cute and pretty. Um, and then I got invited to something with cocktail attire. So it's like a sneaker soiree, cocktail attire. So I have to wear this with Jordans. Um, but I just thought it was so cute. I haven't tried it on yet, but it was so wrinkly. I just put it in the dry with wrinkle release and like, that's what we're doing. And um, I do have this one as backup, but I wanted to wear a longer dress because my Jordans are not like dunks. 
they're not low um and like i don't like that they are and so this kind of like covers them a little bit um and also i'm just gonna like pull my hair back make it really simple add some like of the kendra scott like earrings that i was talking about anyway so taryn's coming um i'm like so excited for life right now i was feeling really down earlier and like having major imposter syndrome like nothing i do is good blah blah, blah. you know the usual and then I started like booking flights and answering emails and I'm like actually I'm literally living my dream life thanks to you guys And I love you guys so much and I'm so grateful and like I actually like cheered up because I was like I cannot believe This is my life. So I love you guys. We're gonna get ready for tonight. Hi guys. We're here now In the closet room. We really should be doing this like every weekend. I know we have a cute little Seriously. setup We have a little mirror here with some good lighting our Starbucks. Coffee. Also look at how cute my bracelet is I love that. that. I love it. Make it. You seem fabulous. You're so fabulous. Thank you. What's that's that what from? Okay. Um, Alexa Kelly. I saw that jewelry. on maybe TikTok. No, your Instagram. Maybe? Yes. Yeah. Like stories. Mm -hmm. Yes. So we're gonna do a little time lapse, getting ready. Let's so. get ready so fast. So we'll yeah. Be it's gonna just, <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna be on our way. Five minutes. So yeah. yeah. No time lapse needed. Mm -hmm. I really do feel he bad for him. Looks like Dobby. He literally looks like Dobby. Fitzy. He got a little summer shave. He goes on runs these days, though, so he's tough. Okay, so we're going to a sneaker soiree. My dress is Revolve. I'm wearing Jordans. Bag is Balenciaga. Dress is Zara. Shoes are Off White. Bag is Louis. And we're off. Um, Fitz is wearing a handkerchief from the groomers <laughs> and um, no fur. Oh, also, I'm still wearing my bracelet. Um, we actually got ready. I haven't gotten ready in, like before today was the first day. I wore makeup in the longest time. Fitz, what are you doing? Hey. I needed. Oh, awesome. I think we got ready, what, 30 minutes makeup? Yeah, makeup. 20 yeah. minutes, 15, yeah. Yeah, we don't get, take long at all. Uh, it's really hard getting ready with any of our other friends, though, because Hours. New York is going to be so crazy. Actually, oh, for, I got for you. So, yeah, I'm, yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm Lauren and I will be good. I'm yeah. Done. But Presley, Presley's like the only one who's like, does like a like she's a good at makeup like she does like beats and stuff oh. we do like simple stuff i think i've had the same makeup since eighth grade you know what i might <laughs> sit next to her in new york and just like watch her what she does i know maybe i'll learn from her yeah like, hey. hey yeah i'm gonna be the last one everywhere because of presley yeah you this. really will presley get it together also my lips do not look as bad as i thought they were gonna look like they don't look good don't get me wrong but i was picturing a much worse experience so i'm feeling better guys this is so unfortunate it's raining the one time I get ready. And then two, and the Uber was like, it's right here. Like, no, it's not. I was like, no, it's not. And then he was like, rude to us. Totally right here. Because like, it says East Quarter there. Like, you're going to think that's it. That's it. It says East Quarter also there. So embarrassing. Uh... Guys, we are at Rodeo Bar. Just gotta give some visuals here. Oh, I need to show them the sign. <gasps> Dolly's eyes are on the drink machine. Guys, like, Rodeo Bar. Branding is cute. This place is the cutest place in the entire world. <gasps> I feel like I'm in Nashville. Oh, I must have been drinking at a straw. We're realizing now that the menu here, it's all me. Chicken sandwich, hot dog, uh, Texas beef, everything here. And then the alcohol, it was tequila and whiskey. Which like, I'm just a tequila girl, like no vodka. Rare if they have it. I'm feeling good about this. Good morning guys, it is now noon on Saturday. 
I slept in this morning. We got home at like 11.30 last night. First off, rodeo bar, unbelievable. The coolest place, no, my new like favorite place in Dallas. I would want to go there 24 seven. The thing is it's downtown at the Adolphus, which is like fine. We just like don't go out there often. So I feel like it's going to be a little bit hard to get. I feel like it's going to be a little bit difficult to get my friends to go there all the time, but like so cool, especially if you're visiting for the weekend. Anyways, I just ordered Starbucks on Postmates. Today, all I want to do is watch This Is Us. I need to finish the series soon and read. I have no interest in going out. I have no interest in doing anything. Um, I'm hoping my little brother gets here or comes over because I want to go see Top Gun, actually. I don't know. I just am, like, not in the mood to do anything. And I'm having my friends over on Tuesday. We're doing a little, like, sip and paint thing. I'll take you guys along. But, like... I really just want to lay around and do nothing and then have a good Sunday, you know? And by good Sunday, I mean still a chill Sunday. So, like, obviously my balcony is staircase to my uh, my rooftop. And a squirrel and a bird were just, like, cha- Okay, oh my god, the squirrel said- Oh my god, and the squirrel, like, half of his tail is cut off. And him and this bird are fighting, like, really aggressively. I didn't even know birds are that powerful, are they? Okay, that was just, like, not what I wanted to see before breakfast. Um, anyways, to this is us we go. Goodbye. All right, so obviously I'm going out. Um, I changed my mind. It's the afternoon. I got bored, and I'm going to go meet up with my friends. Um, this dress is Princess Polly. How cute. I gave myself a blowout. Um, it's not dry bar, but it'll do. And then I'm wearing my boots are a Harley, and my bag is Balenciaga. This is the best bag ever. For the bars, we're like just a day out because it's super chill. I actually got ready here again, and it was such a good experience. But here I am. I need to fully get rid of these blinds. Even though, yes, I do change in my closet. I just don't care. Um, and this light, like, what should I replace it with? I don't want a chandelier in here, but I do need something else. I also just got a ton of stuff messed up here. Um, oh, also, I'm wearing, again, Kendra Scott earrings. Like, that is so... Like, normally, Kendra Scott isn't, like, totally my vibe. But, like, some of their stuff has been really cute. And then my favorite new bracelet that I'm going to wear every day. This is the look. I really don't know what we're doing. I'm hoping to go to HG Supply because I'm craving a cucumber smash. It's like my favorite drink in Dallas and it's weirdly a vodka drink, but um, it's like the only vodka. Well, I like mules too. I'm just like not a vodka girl these days. Um, yeah, I actually like really love my outfit. So I'm actually really excited to go. It's because I got all of these new clothes and dresses. I just made a TikTok about it and I know I included it in a recent vlog, but I'm so excited. And next weekend, a week from today, it's a Red Wedding Housewife um, pop-up. So I'm really looking forward to it. Update on my lips. I have a bruise right here and then I have Rio's like, you can see it like cute right here. Under my lip, but you can't really tell because they're so swollen. I'm gonna go um, watch a vlog to approve it to see if I can post it. I just ordered sweet green, um, and then hopefully I'll be heading out soon. Guys, look at this PR package I just got from Stony Clover in this cooler. I mean, so cute. This bag is so perfect and just so cute for summer. I love it. I actually want this bag in the green print really bad, but they've been out of stock because it's so cute. Then, guys, they gave me this like overnight duffel says Kinsey on it like oh my god the cutest thing ever all terry cloth which I love also look they have like fake ice cubes in it because it's supposed to be a cooler books I mean adorable just stuff so cute and then throughout they have little like popsicles welcome to the mermaid collection the mermaid collection I mean like this is the cutest PR package I think I've ever gotten I'm obsessed and then my order from Monday swimwear came in I got this top, these bottoms, these bottoms, this top, and then this little like charong thing. Um, oh my god, I'm so, it's so hot right now. Anyways, I love Monday swimwear, and it's so worth it to me to have swimsuits that I just feel really good in. So I'm really excited to have these, but I'm just like obsessed with this. I also just unboxed my Sephora order. Oh, okay, um, I got this Dior lip, not lip, what am I saying, blush? It looks beautiful, and I've heard amazing things about their blushes. I got a lip cheat, like pillow talk pencil, two hyaluronic acids from Inky List just to stock up, and then another one of the glow screen, sunscreen, again, just to stock up because I've used this product every day for probably like three years. It's my favorite product I've ever owned in my entire life. Um, but I'm getting more into blush recently. I love Rare Beauty blush, but I wanted to try this. I got a Harvest Bowl from Sweet Green. I'm very excited. Time to shake the salad. See how I did? Oh, 
perfect. Looking over to Honor Bar, no one is surprised. The love shock over here is beautiful, by the way. Perfect, thank you. So beautiful. Again, everyone, I'm back at midnight on Saturday night. We went to Clifton Club. It's not a club, it's like a lounge kind of vibe. It was so much fun, and then I was Ubering home, my Uber happened to stop at the whip, but I only stayed there for like 20 minutes and then I went home. I didn't drink at all, like I'm fine. Um, but I just like have been loving getting home at a reasonable hour on the weekends. This could very much so change in a few months. Like I go through my phases, but my phases of being like wild and out, I don't know if I would call like oh, the time that it's been a phase. Like it's, I feel like it's really just me at the end of the day. Um, however, with that being said, I have been feeling more of a like chill vibe. So anyways, I'm going to take my makeup off, get comfy, do my skincare, and then read. I think I'm going to continue to read Lucy Score's latest book. I don't know because listen, I had like five bangers in a row, all romance. And like normally I'll go through a phase where I read like three thrillers in a row, three like memoirs in a row, like whatever I keep going on and on. And like, I'm not out of this romance phase because like I've explained, I was in a book rut like the first five months of this year. And now that I've read all these books, I'm like loving romance again. So anyways, I think I might even start, like maybe I read like Nicholas Sparks. Like the, I feel like the most like, not, maybe not OG, but the most like, what's what I'm looking for? I don't know, he's very well respected in like the romance genre. I've never read one of his books, but obviously like everything gets a movie deal. So you guys let me know. Um, here's fits of him. I feel so much lighter now that I deep clean my house in the last walk. Like it's really just next level. Also, guys, I'm not kidding. Fitz just like sits here and I do this. Like, do you see this? And he just sits here. Hi Bob. Like if I just did this for the rest of the night, he wouldn't even move. Um, but I will say, I don't know if I've said this in the vlog, but he okay, I'll I'll keep doing it. Calm down. Come here, come here. Oh, yep. Okay, so since he got his little summer shave, um, he normally will fall asleep on my bed and then he like sleeps on the floor, always. And normally I'm like, oh my god, I would kill to have a dog who like cuddles with me at night, whatever. And now he like hasn't left my bed all week. He's like sleeping on top of me. I have this much of the bed. He has the rest of it. I have no space to sleep at all. And he's like on top of me. And it's pretty horrible. Like I actually take it back. I think I've changed my mind. Um, and I don't know if it's because, like, he's colder because of his fur length or what, but, like, I don't know. I'm, I'm getting a little bit stressed because, like, I can't sleep like this. Like, I was up for, like, four hours last night. That's why I couldn't sleep or that's why I slept in. I don't know. But, like, look at this. He's very clingy these days. He wants to be next to me 24-7 and it's just, like, really something. So, anyways, if you guys are um, dog parents, you let me know if this has happened to you. But, like, look at him. I mean, he's, oh, sorry, bub. I'm, I didn't mean to do that, guys. I, I, I thought he was going to be, like, here and I would do that. Okay, well, Fitz, you up? Are you ready? Are you ready for bed, bub? Are you ready? <gasps> Come here, let's see if jump up. Are you ready? Oh, sorry, guys. Are you ready? Jump up. <gasps> Come on, let's go to bed. Come on, bub. He doesn't normally do it, so we'll see. All of my YouTube videos, I've never hid this, were scripted. I wrote all the scripts, like I, like Awesomeness TV knows, like at the time, like you can watch the videos, like they're obviously scripted. Um, but it's it was like I was playing a character in each one though. It wasn't like I was necessarily being myself in anything but the intro and outro. 